This is how to achieve the mismatch effect inside Adobe Illustrator. So first let's create an object for which we can apply this effect. And I'm going to draw a very simple sun just for the sake of this tutorial. So let's grab the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle. Now grab the star tool, hold down the mouse button while dragging and push the down arrow on your keyboard. Now we have a triangle and to make it straight, simply hold down the shift key and make the triangle the size that you want. Then go to the selection tool, grab the triangle and move it until it aligns with the circle. You'll get this green guide that goes from the triangle and to the middle of the circle. Place it as far from the circle as you want. Now, while having the triangle selected, go to the rotate tool, hold down the alt key and go to the middle of the circle and simply click one time. Then in this pop-up right here, type in 45 degrees and click copy. Then to repeat this step, simply click Ctrl D. Now go to the selection tool, select the entire sun, make the strokes as wide as you want to and give the strokes and the fill the colors that you want to. So now we have our sun, but it could be any type of object that you want to apply this effect to. So to apply this mismatch effect, we need to first select the entire sun, it should be already, then go down to the appearance panel. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find the appearance panel right here. So now go down to the appearance panel, select the fill, go to effects, go to distort and transform, then go to transform and here you can check the preview button and then simply offset the fill with these sliders right here. When you're done, click OK. And this is simply how you achieve the mismatch effect.